It's not clean till it's cougar oh. clean. <laughs> cougar chemical and you get well just south of Winchester offers. <laughs> this is a mess. It is. All right. So the red stains, they're notoriously difficult to get out. They, they set in deep and not much gets to it. But here at Cougar Chemical, if we use the right product, the right process, and the right equipment, we're going to make this as easy as it can be. Okay. So we got the lipstick here, and we got the red Kool Aid stains here. They're both just raw, they're ground in there. They're pretty tough. I'm thinking our first step on this is uh, let's blot it and see what we can get um off of it with just kind of blotting because what you don't want to do is spread that stain right. around even more so let's back up just to here's what we're going to use to to take care of this we've got a product here juice out and this is going to be um suitable to take out any red dye uh from whether it be lipstick kool-aid tropical drinks whatever the case whatever red stain that's set in that's what this is formulated to do we've got us a hog hair brush with chose that for softer bristles because we don't want to you know damage the fi the, the the fibers and then towels we're going to use a lot a lot of towels <laughs> a lot of towels so let's see if we can't blot up this and and see what we get just from a quick blot and get up what we can yes <laughs> so Mine, mine didn't budge. The Kool-Aid doesn't look like that one's going to be nearly as hard to, to, to get up. But that stain's still in there. That right. ain't coming it's out. Absorbed a lot off the top. Yeah, which is exactly what you want. All right. So next step is I'm going to take the juice out, and we're going to put this on our stain. I'm going to be a little bit liberal about it and let it in there pretty good. I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to take this horsehair brush. And I'm going to agitate it. Yeah, you can see it get a lot darker when I put that on. All right. So now the next step. Next step. The uh, juice out is heat activated. It's going to use steam and heat to pull that uh, pull these stains up out of the our, our carpet here so i've got a towel here it's moderately damp not dripping and i'm going to fold it right here and set it right there on top now my iron i've got set to steam but it's not at its highest level it's a moderate moderate steam level and we're going to put that on there and let that cook. And that should heat and steam that stain and start to pull it up out of there. It's probably going to take a couple of tries to do this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking on four. <laughs> four shots because that's ground in there yeah. pretty darn good. And it's so waxy. I feel like it might be tough to get out. I think this one will come out in two tries, though. Sure. Good guess. Let's see what we get. All right. Let's take a peek at what we got here. And you know, we got a fair bit. I'm going to let that go just a little further. I'm going to back my heat off just a little bit. It's awful hot. All right, let's see what we got going here. We're going to just take a peek at it here. You can see it starting to pull up some of that stain from inside, and that thing is hot. You can see there, right there, it's pulled up. Yeah. You know, a fair, fair good amount of that thing, but we still got a ways to go on this one. So I'm just going to. It's hot, but it's yeah, it's pulling a bunch of it out of there. Yeah, heating up that wax too might make it easier. Mm -hmm. It already looks better, a lot better. Yeah, I'm trying not to spread that stain out any further than I have to, but. Definitely put a dent in it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm definitely going to reapply. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing this, let's get your yours the Kool-Aid going. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm gonna let this sit in there and cook a little bit. 
I think I rushed it just a little bit on the first application of this because it does say in the directions, let that sit for a minute after you agitate. I don't think I, I don't think I did that. We kind of knew on the, the lipstick going forward that it's in there that we were going to have to do this more than once. Right. And then two on the directions it says you can let that sit on there for anywhere between two and five minutes. Right. So let that cook and see what it does. Yeah, and here's a good point. Rinse out that brush. The brush is pulling that stain out of there. Don't reintroduce more Pigment. red junk in there yeah. on your on your next stain. Hopefully, most people out there don't have Kool Aid and lipstick, lipstick at the same stain. time. <laughs> Maybe. Could happen. Yep, it could happen. All right, let's see what you got. I'll go ahead and take a look at this one. Oh yeah, it's pulling out that stain. Get up. Oh man, you look. On. Yeah, you look pretty good on that. Oh, yeah. I'm blot that out and see what you get. Alrighty. Get this away from there, so put more put more, more, right. put more Kool Aid in it. That's hot. Yeah, and you're just barely, more. barely, barely Perfect. left. Yeah, I think you're going to get 100 percent out of that. Mm -hmm. Turn, yeah, mine's wet. I'm just turning into a fresh spot on my towel. We're going to give it another go. I'm going to uh, reapply the juice out on mine. Can you give me that brush? <laughs> the lipstick's definitely going to be a harder job. Yeah, if I uh, get lipstick on a shirt, I just throw it away. <laughs> Is this clean? Yeah, it doesn't have anything in there. I don't want to mix the Kool-Aid and the... <laughs> when, you, when I apply the juice out, you can already see it, like, pulling the stain up. It makes it more visible, but it's putting it to the surface, so it's easier to remove. Yeah, a little bit here, will we? What happened there? Probably just blotting. Yeah. You need to apply some right there? Yeah. Go for 100%. Okay. Over here, too. Check on... Status over here. Man, I'm getting somewhere. I'm definitely improving our situation. That's hot. That's what you want. Cool, it's hard. It just keeps wanting to spread. Yeah, the lipstick now is not really traveling very much, but it's there's a there's part of it that's very well embedded. All right. I'm gonna it's just not keep, this big to this big. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna just keep using the dry towel to scrub on that until I'm not getting any more. I'm gonna go ahead and heat mine up. Yep. Still getting just a little bit coming out. I'm just going to keep going because I want as much out as I can get. Right. All right, I'm just going to take a peek at mine and see what we're left with so far. I'd say that's pretty much gone. Yeah, I would too. I bet you scrub it and it'll... Yeah, I take a dry towel and scrub just a little bit. I see a little bit of pigment over here. Okay, so uh, uh, product down there too. Yeah, 
still getting a little bit of transfer. Visibly, I can't see it. Yeah, I can't either, but towel. Towel is so good. Towel's still saying it's pink in there. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got articles in my home that still have red cooling stains in it. It just, it just doesn't come out. I don't think you would have got that any other no. way. I don't think so either. I'm think not, I don't know about this yet. Yeah. I'll have to take it home and try it on the multiple stains. Well, and, and you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the point. We, you know, here we're doing mostly automotive right. detail type stuff, but this would, you know, absolutely be something you use in the house, you know, carpet restoration people or, or something like that, right. you know, carpet cleaners in the, in the home or a commercial setting could, could uh, come across the need for something like this. All right, here we are. What are we at? Six applications on this? Yeah. Kool-Aid's still 100% gone. This was the last time, 99.5. Okay. You think we got it? Mm-hmm. Here, record that. Moment of truth. All right, let's see what we got. And it pulled just a little bitty bit out of there. I don't see anything, like, Yeah, I think... Anything. Yeah, I think we got it. I said it looks pretty good. Yep. Yep. Especially from where we came from. I was pretty pretty nervous. I wasn't sure stomped that was going to work. Stomped in lipstick. Will it, will it remove? Yes. Yeah, it'll do it. It'll, it takes a little work. That's a, that's a tragic event right yeah. there. I mean, yeah. I mean. Not just dropping it, but smashing it into. Yeah. I think if we didn't have it ground in there all the way to the base, right. it probably would have come out just a whole lot easier. But yeah, what do you think? Successful product test? Definitely. Review, two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Five stars? Five stars. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, it also says it'll take out uh, tropical drinks. I think we should maybe test that too. Let's go do it. All right. Let's go get it. We can send it back if we're not satisfied. <laughs>